Hi there, this is Rachel and this is in the first in my series of videos about Octiva, which is an online auction software for eBay sellers and is something that I recommend to all my students that you take a look at when you start selling on eBay. And the reason why I recommend this program is because, as it says, it's free. You receive free image hosting, free templates, free scheduling, and the actual software is all free. You also get a free storefront and a scrolling gallery. And that's all great, um, you know, fantastic options. It's also very easy once you, you'll understand that when you go through these videos, very easy to get started, easy to use and easy to understand as they say. Save time. Uh, so if eBay's ever down, you can still manage your, um, your listings from here. And this one here, earn more. This doesn't actually apply to us because we're in Australia. Uh, I think they earn their, um, it's based on insurance, which is more for the American market. So, but even still, there's a whole lot of reasons why um, this is a, a great software program to, to get to use. Anyway, so let's have a look at how to get there or what to do. Okay, first thing you need to do is bring up Octiva and just type into your search bar there is www.octiva a u c t i v a dot com. You don't need the rest of that. Just put dot com and click here and it brings up this page here. Now the first thing you need to do is register. Okay, so just click on this orange register and it'll ask you for some information. So you want to put it in your username here. Now you can use your eBay username if you so wish, make it easy to remember, and your password as well. Uh, confirm a password, put in an email, confirm your email and a phone number. Now this one is optional, so you don't need to put that in there. Uh, and then you click on the sign up. Now because I've already signed up under all my eBay user IDs, I can't go through this process and, and show you what will happen. But what will happen is once you click on this button, it will then ask you uh, to generate an eBay token. And basically what that means is that it's asking your permission uh, for Octiva to talk with your account at eBay. And if you've already got some listings on, on eBay, what will happen is they will transfer across into Octiva. Not that they will transfer, sorry, that the information will transfer across. Um, and also it allows when you do create your own listings with on, within Octiva, uh, for Octava then to be able to talk to, to eBay and post your listings onto eBay. So it's a, a fairly simple process, and it, but it's something that you must do uh, to use this software program. Okay, so once you've done that, you got back to the home page, and then all you've got to do here is sign in, and click login here. Okay, now every time you log in, you'll, be, you'll come to this page. What I suggest you do is click on this little button here and continue so you don't get this every time. All right, once you're signed in, the first thing you'll want to do is go to your account and change some settings. Okay, so bring up settings here and then account settings. Okay, if you want to change your email address at any stage, you can change it here. Now, in the account preferences, a couple of things that you want to make sure are there. Uh, your default editor on one, one page lister, design editor. If you choose text mode, that will take you into the HTML coding aspect. So, you want design editor. That gives you the, the WYSIWYG. Uh, what you see is what you get type editor that you're probably familiar with, Word and things like that. Uh, your default eBay listing site, of course, is going to be Australia. So make sure you have that one selected. Uh, use Octiva Secure Checkout. No, you don't want to use that. You don't need to worry about this. And you also need to um, make sure that you have your time zone in there correctly. Uh, this is especially important if you're going to be scheduling listings. Okay, now you've probably seen uh, the Octiva scrolling gallery in listings uh, and this is where you append them 
in. So you need to have that uh, as clicked as yes. Uh, this battle bids is some sort of game. I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but I don't choose it anyway. So I click no. Uh, if you want counters on your listing, so they're the little counters that show you how many people have visited your page. You need to select that. And everything else um, is probably not really important. So once you play around with the system a bit more, you might want to come back and change some more of those settings. And then all you've got to do is just update your account preferences by clicking down there. Okay, that's done. All right, so that's basically it for um, this video. Uh, the next one is going to be about creating a profile. So I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.